What's going on guys, it's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm going to give you guys my best tips to help you find your sensitivity in Rainbow Six Siege. If you guys find this video helpful and would like to support me, please consider subscribing, and if you'd like to go one step further, you could always drop a like and comment under this video as well. Anyways, let's get on to some of these tips so you can finally quit worrying about your sensitivity. Have you guys ever suffered from eye strain and headaches from playing for too long? Well, today's sponsor, GMG Glasses, has got you guys covered. They produce these stylish blue light blocking glasses, which help reduce eye strain and increase your concentration. If you're not sure what blue light is or what it does, basically it's the light that's emitted from our screens, whether that's your TV, monitor, or phone, your eyes are being hit with that blue light. I know after hours and hours of playing and getting content for the channel here, I get really bad headaches and bad eye strain. But after using these glasses, I can definitely tell the difference. After I'm done playing, I don't feel those headaches or eye strain, which is really helps my overall productivity. Not only that, but having your eyes being exposed to blue light for a long time before bed can keep you from falling asleep. With these glasses, of course, you won't have that issue anymore and honestly i think that's the best part about them for me as i have such a hard time getting to sleep each night gmg is offering a huge 40 percent discount if you order your pair in the next 48 hours don't miss this opportunity to get your own pair almost half off this deal ends in 48 hours so check out that first link in the description all right so to get us started i'll go ahead and tell you what my sense is and explain to you why i use it so my current sensitivity is 13 horizontal and 13 vertical and then i'll just go ahead and scroll through my ads sense and you guys can pause and look at whatever you want to as for my dpi i planned 400 i've tried everything from 4,000 dpi to 400 and this is just what i like to use i'll talk a little bit more on dpi and what it is if you aren't sure later on in the video i like this sense because it's a pretty fast sense for a 400 dpi player and it allows me to be pretty flexible with my movements and aim enough of my sense though let's get into how you can find your own sense so for finding your sensitivity it's actually pretty simple so i'm going to give you guys a checklist that i want you all to quickly go through so firstly take a look at your desk space ask yourself how much room do you have to play Notice how I'm not asking for your mouse pad, just your desk space. We'll get into mouse pads here in a second. After that, see if you have the ability to create any extra space for a bigger mouse pad, if at all possible. If you already have a ton of room, you don't need to do this. Next up is your mouse pad. If you've got a really small mouse pad, ask yourself if you think you could fit a larger one onto your desk if you've got any extra space. You don't need a huge mouse pad, but the reason I'm wanting you to check for this is because with a bigger mouse pad, you have more flexibility with your sensitivity, as you'll see later on. After you've done both of those, things go ahead and try to figure out what your dpi is if you don't already know if you already know what your dpi is and you don't need to hear any of this then you could go ahead and skip to the next part i have time stamps for everything throughout this video if you aren't sure what dpi is it stands for dots per inch and it's basically the sensitivity for your mouse the higher the number the faster your cursor will move and this is a really important factor when it comes to finding your sensitivity in game as for what your dpi should be set to that's where your setup comes into play and that's why i was asking you all of those questions about your desk and your mouse pad space if you have a really small setup and there's no real way you could fit a bigger mouse pad in you'll likely have to play on a higher dpi if that's the case i'd recommend you play on 800 dpi if you've got a lot of desk space and mouse pad space i'd recommend you try out both 400 and 800 dpi to see what fits you the best the reason i say these two specifically is because they're basically the industry standard for most pro and high level players in fps games and yes i know that there are very good players on high dpis but they are the exception to the rule those players will be good on any sensitivity if you're trying to improve and you aren't that good right now as it is you don't want to try to be the exception that's going to make things so much harder on yourself just try to go with what's comfortable for most people and then go from there anyways with your dpi out of the way let's move on to your actual in-game sensitivity so for this it's actually pretty easy all you got to do is start low and slowly but surely move the sense slider up by two for your vertical and horizontal if you're new to pc or are still struggling to find a good sense which i'm guessing you are since you're watching my video right now i'd recommend you stay in the simple ads mode instead of the advanced one this is going to make it much easier on you while trying to find your sense after you've mastered your sense and you feel pretty confident in your mechanics then you could try to the advanced mode i'd recommend doing the same thing for your ads sense as i said for your horizontal and vertical but instead of moving the slider by two i'd move it by three or five at a time remember that you want to start low and then slowly go up to see what feels good for you i'd recommend playing with each new version of your sense for at least 15 minutes or so in a tm before deciding if it's good or bad i've got some other things you can do on top of this though so on theme park there's two dummies with targets on them a good way to test your sense is to see if you can accurately flip to two different targets these two dummies can be great for those targets as they can't be destroyed and you can see how accurate you are since they have the red target circle on them another thing you should try to master is being able to perfectly 180 and 360. 360s aren't really ever used in a serious gunfight but it could be a great indicator if you know your sense well 
well practicing 180s does the same thing but you may actually need to 180 in game sometimes so this is an important one to learn so basically the way you're going to decide whether the sense you're on is good for you or not is if you can accurately do 360s 180s and if you're able to flick to two different targets consistently if you can do those three things chances are that you find a good sensitivity for you once you've done that you could always check out my other videos and my tips playlist which i'll have linked down below in the description i have videos on how to get better aim movement recoil control and so many other things so if you guys are interested in any of those i'll once again have the link to that down in the description that's going to end my video for today but if you all enjoyed and found it helpful then again please consider subscribing and turning those notifications on and again don't forget to like and comment as for every person that does youtube will send this video to about 10 more people who have never seen my channel before so that means you guys have the power to get this video 10 more views by simply liking commenting but anyways that's it for today i hope you all enjoyed and have a great day Uh, there, uh, master. Ah! I'm running out of bullets and mouse pad. I was running out of mouse pad, mouse pad bullets, <laughs> ammo. Pulse below. He's dead. Oh my god, he's gonna think I'm cheating after that one. Legitimately. That's smoke. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You scared me. Twitch, whoever Twitch was, you scared. Get smoked. I was on my favorite. That's Mr. SLV stock, can we please stop going down and go back up? I'm now down money. Can my fucking Q shares go in? Terrible. Probably not. I think. Wait, hold on. Someone freezer. They got close on me. My game's stuttering. Stop. Game. I don't. Oh, there is. Oh! What in God's name? They popped the, uh, the small hatch, just so you know. Let me drone off this street. Can someone blow underneath the wall so that they don't? I, I close his clear. Fountain looks clear. Oh, he's up top, up top, up top. No, he dropped, dropped down bandit back archives. Bandit's not. Bandit's in archives. He's dead. Another push no, no, metal, top metal, smoke. Right. Oh my god. Uh, Ash, can you give me, give me comms, give me comms. I'm, I'm inside, just chill. I didn't get anything. That's aggressive. Shock is not a thing we need. It's a, it's a wrap. Oh my god. One's close on me. Yeah, I can peek a new back if you need me to. Or have peek immediately. Oh. Drop sky, drop sky, Ash dead. Ah! I am just fucking flick one time. The fact I'm that I'm alive is unprecedented. Heaven, heaven window, heaven window. IQ, yeah, IQ, I, I can IQ, I turn from below. I can I turn from below. IQ piano. 100 skylight, skylight. He went skylight. Heaven went skylight. Yo, shock. I'm ripping down the barricade. Run through. No, no, no. 